What's going on YouTube? This is Seha Man back with another uh, DC Direct Arkham Asylum figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Direct Arkham Asylum. Uh, I believe this is the Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this is basically a repaint of the series one Batman, but this is the Battle Damage version. Uh, I got this from my buddy Josh from Frankenstein's. I got this figure loose, so I don't have the packaging or anything to show you guys. And I'm not sure exactly. I don't know if he came with a Batarang or not. But uh, he does have a base, which is right, you know, right there at the bottom. But this is all I got, and I got this guy for such a good deal. Um, he's pretty much exactly the same as uh, <clears throat> this guy right here, which is the Arkham Series One Batman. You can see it's the same exact figure. I don't really, I mean, the only differences, I mean, there's a few like differences in the paint. The paint is a little different um, from each figure, but not only that, I mean, of course. The one on the uh, right is battle damage, but everything else is pretty much the same. But I'll get into the differences of the figure. I'm not even going to get into articulation because he's, he's articulated the same way as that guy there, um, the one I just put away here. But, you know, the head sculpt, there's nothing really different about the head sculpt. Um, but as far as, like, the battle damage stuff goes, you can see he's got a little bit of tear right there in the... Uh, in the um, and the bat symbol and it's cool because it's not just like a paint it's it's actually kind of like textured in there so you can see the skin same right there in the um in the uh, left bicep it's got two little scratches there what else got a few uh got one right there in the uh, lower right leg he's got a lot of little blotches here in the lower pants as well so that's also going into his um into the boots so he's got that you know going on also right here in the uh, left lower arm not sure if it's like blood or anything or, or exactly what it is. Dirt. It's got it right here also. Very nice. I mean, that's pretty <laughs> That's pretty much it as far as the battle damage goes in the front view. And then the back, I think, is really cool. I mean, you got some tears in the, in, the, uh, in the cape. So you can see right there he's got two nice little tears in the cape. And at the lower cape, it's all torn right there. That's really, really cool. So I do like that a lot. So he's got his nice soft rubber too. So he's got that big old tear in the lower lower cape and then these two claw marks right there, which is really nice. But this is a great figure. Again, if you're a Batman fan like I am or if you really like the game, I mean, you're going to want this figure. Me, I mean, my number one character from DC, from Marvel, everything, I love Batman. I grew up um, loving Batman. That's the first superhero I ever really liked. Um, so, you know, I, I got to, you know, get every Batman figure I can. And that's what I'm doing right now. So pretty. I mean, if you guys will have followed my older videos, I did some uh, uh, Batman collection, uh, my Batman collection figure thing. I did a video on my Batman collection. This was like over a year ago. Um, I plan on doing an updated version because I have so many Batman figures now. So stay tuned for that, guys. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. This is a quick little video. I just wanted to show you the uh, Battle Damage version. It's basically the same as the regular Series One Arkham Asylum Batman. The paint's a little different on the battle damage, and of course he's got a, a lot of little you know, uh, tears and stuff throughout the figure. Alright guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. We we're taking a look at the uh, DC Direct. I think this is the Comic-Con exclusive um, battle damage Batman. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed my review. See you guys later.